I am addicted to technology. Really, I, I can't go a day without it. And God forbid I try. <laughs> and I've tried. My stress levels shoot through the roof. I'm talking major inability to focus on anything other than what may be happening in my student forums, my work channels, my social media platforms. I spend time with my friends and family. Maybe I'm outside walking the dog, and all I can think about is, who liked my recent post? Is my engagement where it should be? What assignments do I have coming up? Shoot, did I forget to send that to so-and-so? I'm constantly thinking of my technology, and it is taking over my life. I am addicted. Artificial intelligence is defined as being the simulation of human intelligence in machines that are programmed to think like humans and mimic their actions. If you think about it, we are interacting with machines every single day that are seducing us into wanting them, needing them more, all because they understand our psychology. But they only understand our psychology because humans have programmed them too. I was born in the late 90s, back when uh, MySpace was the thing. I can't actually remember using technology much before the age of five, and if I did, it was only for Saturday morning cartoons on our massive box TV. I think the first time I interacted with AI was when YouTube was released back in 2005. Since then, the development, accessibility, and very concept of AI have evolved exponentially. Since you bought your first smartphone, a whole generation of children has grown up not knowing a world not mediated by AI algorithms. And that's a problem because we aren't bringing kids into the conversation around these developments. In fact, we're keeping them on the other side of the curtain. Kids need analytical skills and tools to help them understand how this technology is impacting the environment around them. Corporations are extensively analyzing what being a kid means today. What do kids vote for? What are they watching? How long do they watch it for? How can we keep them online longer? Businesses are moving fast to keep their profits skyrocketing, and unfortunately, our government policies still have far to go when it comes to protecting our children's data. So in the meantime, we have to shine a light in the black box of AI. Reveal what's behind the curtain and let kids know that they actually do have control over what seems to be controlling them. In 2019, the Washington Post revealed that the average American teen spent seven hours and 22 minutes on a screen every single day, seven days a week. That is more than a full-time day job being spent on a screen aside from anything that has to do with work or school. Imagine if a fraction and I mean a fraction of that time, was spent being the creator instead of the consumer. Kids Code Jeunesse is a Canadian bilingual not-for-profit organization working to harness both the incredible mind of children and power of technology to create sustainable digital skills communities across Canada. Since being founded in 2013, we've reached over 375,000 kids, 10,000 educators, and we have spent over 1 million hours coding together. 
with the help of our Algorithm Literacy Project in partnership with UNESCO and our Kids 2030 Challenge that aligns with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. We are bringing kids into the conversation. And here's how we're starting that. How does the internet always seem to know what I like? Who's making these decisions for me? I am. Uh, sorry, let me introduce myself. I'm an algorithm. I live behind the screen, and I can explain how it all works. Follow me. Welcome to my home. Algorithms like me are made by people like you. Human programmers give me instructions by writing code, and then we become programs. Millions of us exist almost everywhere you look. Can you believe it? OK, but how come you know what I like? Great question. When you watch, search, like, or share online, you create something called data. Algorithms use data to make connections about you and the things you enjoy. We find patterns in your data and then show you stuff we think you'll care about. Voila! Sometimes there are mistakes in my code, though, and I might suggest things you don't like or that upset you. But hey, if you understand how algorithms work, you'll have the power to make your own decisions. Cool. I didn't realize my choices matter more than yours. But wait, there's got to be more to it than that, right? This is the algorithm cycle that we contribute to every day, just by using our devices. We are constantly feeding algorithms data. Those algorithms process what we're feeding it, and will give something back to us depending on what that data was. Let's take an example. I, <laughs> I love dog videos, and I spend way too much time on my phone scrolling through dog videos, but I love them. And I let my algorithm know that I love them because I keep clicking on those like buttons, I comment on those, I share the videos. And it hit me the other day that I was <laughs> only seeing dog videos. I wasn't seeing cats, birds, horses. Because I kept feeding my algorithm dogs. My algorithm isn't going to magically throw a horse in there and say, hey, try this. Because it knows that dogs work for me. Dogs keep me happy. This is something that I want you to think about next time you go to use your devices. I encourage you and I encourage you to get your kids to take a step back. Evaluate the content that you're consuming. Is it all looking the same? And if it is, curate your content. Talk to neighbors, parents, other kids about what they like. What are they clicking on? What are they listening to? What are they watching? Consider including some of that in your algorithm cycle. Ultimately, this will help you discover new things. And maybe if that horse video comes up through your tirade of dogs, you think, ah, OK, I'm over this. You put your phone down. You don't spend hours and hours and hours on your phone. We are a moment of crisis, a moment of history that has incredible, incredible potential for transformation. We're living in this AI playground where kids can learn about how it works. We want kids to know that AI is not magic, AI isn't visible, and AI is not always right. You can use AI for good. Think about how you can keep the conversation going. Get your kids involved. Show them what's behind the curtain. Talk about how AI works, how it impacts their environments every day, and how they can actually take control to apply it in the best possible ways. Thank you.